Hi, my name is Katherine Gomes, and I am the author of Exploring with Creation with Mathematics Level 1. And I'm just going to give you a quick video overview of how to do the Unit 1 skills practice for this book. So this is all laid out in the teaching guide and explained in detail. I'm just showing it to you here on a video and maybe giving you a few extra tips. So the Unit 1 skills practice is explained to you on the daily schedule. It'll show you exactly which skill to do each day. And you want to be practicing about five to 10 minutes, depending on the skill and depending on how your child's doing. Now, how do you know what to do in practicing those skills? At the beginning of each unit in the teaching guide, I've written out a description for you, both of the skill, why it's important, but also different ways that you can practice. And most of those ideas are what I'm showing you right now in this video. There are two skills for unit one, writing the numerals one to 10 and putting the numbers zero to 20 in order. Pretty simple skills and keep in mind the skills practice isn't super involved for unit one because you just started this book and you're getting used to things and maybe it's the start of school year. So I didn't want it to be overwhelming. So if it feels a little bit quick, that was intentional. It might get a little more involved. It is gonna get a little more involved in the other units. How do you practice writing the numerals? Well, we do have writing practice in the student book for a couple of the lessons, but if your child needs extra practice, we put extra writing worksheets on the Book Extras website. So if you log on to Book Extras, we have lots of printables and you can print as many copies as you want or need. In our house, this is included in our handwriting program, so I didn't do anything extra, I just checked it off because we're already practicing writing numbers like this in our handwriting program. The other skill is putting numbers in order from zero to 20. Now one to 10 is probably gonna be pretty simple for most kids, but those teen numbers can be tricky and 11 and 12 are just plain weird. So you definitely wanna practice it. I find that in counting from one to 100, those teen numbers are the hardest part. Here's our favorite way to practice. These are mini cups that I buy at the dollar store. I love them. They're so cheap and there's so many different things you can do with them. So I numbered them. If you number them this way, you can also have your child practice putting the correct amounts in the cup, okay? Or if you number it this way, it stands a little more steadily. So those are the different advantages. Um, Mainly what I do is number a set of these from zero to 20 and then say, okay, put it in order. That's the first step. Other options, if your child loves Legos, you can label the sides of Legos and have them actually stack them together. It's a little more satisfying because it like clicks in place. I also had a mom, I saw, I got this idea from another mom. She put stickers on the sides of her linking cubes, like dot stickers, and had her child stack them in a row and then she just took the stickers off when they were done. So just pick what you think your kid would like the best. It can be kind of tricky to write on the side of Legos, so I like the stickers for this. Keep in mind that you can vary it to make it a little harder. So at first you wanna have them do zero to 20, then make them start at different numbers. Like can they start at 11 and go up? A lot of us remember how to count almost like a song and we're not necessarily thinking what comes after 11, all right? And you can have them do it backwards, give them 20 and make them build back. Make sure they don't just start at one and build the other way. Because if they're building backwards, they're getting ready for subtraction. Finally, a game we like to play at our house is I set up the cups from zero to 20. I make my student look the other way and I steal one of the cups and close the gap. And they have to look and see, oh, 12, 14, mommy stole 13. Okay, so then that's a fun way that we one other fun way that you can practice ordering numbers is by making a picture puzzle for your child. So to do this, you need a picture of something they're interested in in our house. That would mean a picture of them. Popsicle sticks or craft sticks and glue. And what you are going to do is you're gonna create pieces like this that show part of the photo and then at the bottom, there'll be a number. If they put the numbers in the correct order, they'll make the picture, okay? That's how it works. Now, I've actually goofed around with this a little bit and there's definitely an easier way to do it. So the easiest thing to do is take your picture and use a popsicle stick to outline the length and then cut strips. Then go ahead and glue those strips onto the popsicle sticks 
and when you have them in the right order, add the numbers. Now you can make this as easy or challenging as you want to. Some moms did skip counting. Um, you could just do the teen numbers. You could do one through 10, whatever you want. You can also achieve the same thing with a code by using note cards at like a secret message and put one letter of the message on each card and then number it. And if they put the numbers in the right order, it spells the message. So fun. <laughs>